Hey hi friends welcome to today's video so today we are going to learn about method dispatch in Swift now this is one of the very interesting topic and also a very commonly asked in interview like what is method dispatch or what is the difference between a static dispatch and dynamic dispatch or what are the different types of dynamic dispatch so in this video we'll cover all these topics and also we'll see at the end some of the questions that can be asked on on the on the coding side on this uh, dispatch concept now let's start so first thing is that what is method dispatch in swift so this is basically a mechanism which determines that which operation should be executed when now means when i say when means that can be two scenarios either at the compile time or at the run time so in that case which method your compiler should execute or which set of operations or which set of instruction that the compiler should uh, execute now based on this basically method dispatch is of two type now the first type is static dispatch and this is also called direct dispatch so what is static dispatch so static dispatch are also known sometime as direct dispatch okay so in this case what happens the compiler is able to find out the location at the compiled time only so you don't need to run the program now when I say the location means I basically I mean the the memory address of the function okay so when such function is called the system directly jump to the memory address of the function to perform that operation okay and what happens in this case this results in very fast execution like because at the compile time only the com the compiler know which function it has to execute it don't need to determine or it don't need to look up at some table or something else to find out the memory location now let's understand this with a practical example let's say that you are going on your bike to some location and you already know where you need to go in that case you don't need to ask someone or you don't need to open the google map to find a direction you can directly go and in that case we can reach that destination very fast now let's say that you don't have any google map you uh, you are just and you need to go to a new location in that case what you have to do you have to ask some person that okay which way you have to go or which way you need to go and that can result in taking more time so that's why that in uh, the first case what we are talking about that was the example of static dispatch when you already know where you need to go means you know the memory address and that's the reason that this is much faster okay now let's talk about the second one that is dynamic dispatch okay so in this dynamic dispatch the compiler doesn't know at the compile time that which memory function or which where it has to actually look at okay so when you run the program then at that time there's something called witness table so it look at the witness table to find out that which function it has to execute and that's the reason that dynamic dispatch are slower compared to the static dispatch we'll show this performance after some time that how actually uh, static dispatch are faster than the dynamic dispatch okay now basically dynamic dispatch can be achieved using two mechanism now, one is called table dispatch and the other is called message dispatch now let's see the first one that is the table dispatch so this is the most common uh, no, like used in all the programming language so in the table dispatch if you see basically what happens that uh, if you see this particular example uh, for each particular class each particular method you can see that it creates an offset and then you have the memory location okay so let's say that for example we have a parent class with a two function method one and method two it also have this address and similarly we have the child class uh, it see the method one is setting the same address from the parent class and method two method three is again having a new address okay so every subclass will have its copy of the table with a different function po pointer for every method that the class has overridden okay now as the subclass have more method what will happen the table will append more item with the functions with the new addresses to it okay so in this case let's say that if you create a object of this child class okay and you call let's say method 3 so what will happen the compiler will go into the table will go into this offset and will find what is the the memory address that is mapping with it and in that case it will jump to that address directly okay okay now 
so in this case what we read that the offset is something which is very important because from the offset these addresses are mapped okay now the other type what we have that is the message dispatch and here if you see that you don't see any offset so there is no offset table here okay so let's see how basically this works so in this case what happens that if you have some class which is a subclass of some other class the app will decide at runtime what method of which particular present it should use so when a message is dispatched so what happened the runtime will crawl the class hierarchy to, to determine which method to invoke and that's the reason that it is even slower than the table dispatch because in table dispatch you have this offset which typically relates all the functions okay you know the memory address through this offset but in this message dispatch you don't have any such so actually at runtime it has to you know, like just search uh down that uh, down this hierarchy to figure out which function it needs to call so now we saw that why uh table dispatch is faster compared to the message dispatch so now let's see how we can determine or how we can know that which is a table dispatch or which is a message dispatch and which is a direct dispatch or static dispatch so for this just remember this table that if it is a value type means if it is structures then in the initial it will be static and in the extension also it will always be static if it is a protocol initially it will be table like table uh, dispatch that means it it will come in a dynamic and in the extension it will always be static and if it is a class then initially it will be table and in the extension it will be static and it, if it is an ns object subclass initially it will be table and in the extension it will be of type message so now let's see a simple example to compare the performance between the static dispatch and the dynamic dispatch okay so what i've done basically here that i have just created one final class so that means this will be a static type because it's final it's, it cannot be inherited and then i have created a class c which have a function increase and then then i have created a class t which is again you no know, conforming to this uh, class c and then implementing this method okay so it is neither a final class and plus it is also having inheritance into it okay so this will be a kind of a table dispatch okay now i have also created a dispatch class here which have uh, two method one test b and one is test t and both are just running 10 times to increase this counter okay and now i have my test class where i have just created this dispatch object and then i'm using this measure function to actually measure the time sometimes it also asked in the interview that how you can measure the performance of your application so you can write the test case and then you can use this measure block to actually figure out how much time a particular function is taking to execute it okay so now first i'm going to run the test t and what is test t so test t is basically my dynamic dispatch okay this part this part so this i'm expecting that it will take more time compared to my test p which is static dispatch okay so now let's run it and see how much time it takes okay so you can see that it took some time and then it is telling that it is some 158% worse so now what i'm going to do basically is that i'm going to comment this part and then uncomment this part and run it again and before that i'll just set this as my baseline so that next time when it runs it will compare on the basis of this factor okay okay so now let's run it again and you can see that the performance this time is 62% better than the previous case which was my dynamic dispatch so that way how you can see that using the static dispatch is much faster compared to the dynamic dispatch and that's the reason that for a code better coding practice we should always use more or final keyword and the private keyword so by default just keep a practice that when you are defining a class always make your class as final and when you are defining a function 
always make sure that that function is private so until unless you require that function not to be private and you require that class not to be the final that will really help you to overall increase your app performance okay now let's see one another uh, typical question which can be asked in the interview okay so let's see one of the problem that is actually based on the static and a dynamic dispatch so here if you see that I have a protocol called app developer which I have a function called subscribe and then I have written the extension of app developer which again imp implements a method subscribe with a print statement let's subscribe the channel and there is a share also that let's share among iOS group okay now this share method is written in the extension of the app developer not in the protocol now I have a struct Swift developer which confirms to our developer and then it implements both the method subscribe and share both okay okay so now I'm creating the object of Swift developer in two way one as a direct and one through this protocol okay and then I'm calling the subscribe method in both the cases now what will be the output now this almost everyone I think will say the same answer that as the Swift developer is implementing uh, this protocol so the answers should be that it will print Swift Dave always subscribe after watching video okay so now let's run this and see what we get in the output and that's the output that Swift Dave always subscribe after watching the video okay now let's do one more thing let's call Nilesh dot share and app developer dot share also okay in this case also our mind will go exactly in the same way that the share is again implemented by the Swift developer structures so the answer will be Swift Dave always share the video on Reddit and LinkedIn and this time we will be wrong so if you see that in the first case when I use Nilay's thought share it printed what we expected but in the second instance when we are calling with the app developer it is printing me the value which is actually defining the extension now why this so okay now think about in terms of the static and the dynamic dispatch that's what we have just learned so if you see that the required method in this protocol which is the subscribe so these are marked as dynamic dispatch so this is this is basically the dynamic dispatch okay and this method which is a share method this is this isn't a dynamic dispatch and why I'm telling you that because if you see this table so the protocol extensions are basically the static so this is the static method not the dynamic so this is a static dispatch in this case this is basically the explicit type okay and therefore the protocol implementation is called it it goes for the static dispatch rather than going for the dynamic dispatch okay so that's the reason that we are having different answers that what we thought in this case okay so in short what you have to remember basically that it's always good to have a static dispatch wherever it is possible because it is much faster than the dynamic dispatch okay again how we can avoid uh, dynamic dispatch so using structures over the classes wherever it is possible because when you use the structures the structure don't have any inheritance okay then if you're using class always make sure that the class is having a final the functions are having private so that the compiler doesn't have to determine the function lookup call at a dynamic level instead it can think at it more at the static level okay so that's all for today's video hope you have uh, enjoyed this video and if you really enjoyed watching this video please do like comment share and subscribe Thanks for watching. Thank you.